Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you an all sign reading for uh, love. We'll be doing Aries through the Pisces. There'll be timestamps down below so you can skip ahead to additional messages. If you hear the message of your partner and it doesn't resonate for you, you can try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. Did I already say that? I might have already said that. We have Shadow Self here and Dreams. So there's definitely a dream that you've been guarding for a while it's something that you've kept hidden it's something you haven't talked to other people about anymore. it's something that you've kind of kept quiet you've kept it to yourself all right if you're dealing with an aries yeah this aries wants a new beginning with you they 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 feel very optimistic about the future with you um they've got their head in their clouds they're really thinking about you quite often they definitely see you in their future they're visualizing, they're waiting for the ships to come in. There has been some secrets here about in regards to what this person wants with you. In regards to this Aries, about how they truly feel. There's things that have been kind of hidden. But there's like this intuitive knowing here. If you're dealing with a Taurus. I have to read them honestly, so... If it doesn't resonate, please check their other placements. But if you're dealing with a Taurus and it resonates, there's been a lot of arguments and disagreements with this person because they may already have an existing long-term relationship or be in a marriage. They're having to make a decision between lovers and the two of you. It's been very conflictive here. They've been very emotionally conflicted about making this choice between lovers. They definitely have, you know, have, they may have um, husband, wife, children, dog. You know, there could be abundance within the home, but it may just not be the same kind of connection they have with you. Because I definitely feel this is a very strong spiritually guided connection here. They definitely feel the chemistry, the, the magnetic pull towards you. And they're kind of emotionally conflicted about making this choice. Alright. Again, that's not for everybody. If you are a Gemini. If you're done with a Gemini, they are having a lot of sleepless nights and anxiety. You may have left them out in the cold or they're having anxiety about leaving you out in the cold. Whatever the case, there's a separation here between the two of you. Somebody is really losing sleep over this connection. They are very upset, very much in their head over this. They have been watching you intently, probably on social media, at your job, whatever it is. They've been watching you, keeping tabs on you. There's an isolation or a separation here. You've been keeping them at a distance, but they're definitely looking in on you. They are having a lot of anxiety over you. If you are dealing with a cancer. Yeah. They want to offer you <coughs> an apology here. Um, they want to make amends with you. Uh, with the Ten of Swords here, there may have been a painful ending between the two of you. I do sense like this past life type connection. This, um, this could be an ex. This could be someone who you just feel very comfortable, very familiar with, kind of like kindred spirit kind of thing. Um, but like there was this thing where they weren't reciprocating enough emotions to you. Um, and I think that kind of got you hurt, kind of got you backstabbed. They may have been given to too many people. Again, if it doesn't resonate, check the other placements. But I do see them coming in with an apology. All right, if you're dealing with a, Le a fellow Leo... They're at this little indecisive point here. They want this new beginning with you. They're, they are feeling very optimistic. They've been fantasizing and daydreaming about this new beginning. Their head is kind of in the clouds about you. They definitely feel a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction for you. They definitely want a new beginning with you, but they're kind of at this indecisive place about making this decision. All right, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, you may have walked away from this individual in the past um, trying to find your emotional fulfillment. There was some conflict here with this person. Um, they weren't reciprocating enough to, to you um, emotionally, and you just had to walk away. It was just too much for you. You were just in this very conflicted energy, and you're just trying to find peace, right? And moving on. If you are dealing with a Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. If you are dealing with a Libra, <coughs> there is a very divinely, um, this is a very divinely guided connection. This is a very strong, significant soul connection, um, possible twin flame even. 
it's just a very strong significant maybe past life soulmate kind of thing it's divinely guided it's destiny it's fate that's how they feel they see it that way they definitely see you in their future they want higher levels of commitment with you they want a happy home with you they feel this level of chemistry with you this attraction to you that they had never felt before they want to offer you emotions they want to offer you their cup of love it's just going to be with all divine timing especially if you're on a twin flame journey right all right if you are dealing with a scorpio <clears throat> this person has been causing you a lot of anxiety a lot of sleepless nights you've been very much in your head over this um, they may have left you out in the cold your emotions are all over the place regards to this individual this person really stresses you out you have a lot of love and emotion for the person i do feel like they may have had emotions for you as well but there's just this, this absent energy where you guys are not together or in communication and it's causing you a lot of anxiety in regard to the scorpio all right if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. You're having to use your strength in this situation regarding the Sagittarius. You're really holding yourself back from this person. This person was very stingy with their emotions or their finances towards you. Um, they really kept themselves guarded. You're walking away from this. You don't want anything else to do with this individual. They weren't reciprocating what you needed. You're really holding yourself back. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, you've been resting, trying to regain your energy here. But with regards to this connection, you've been really contemplating, taking time. You feel like the situation has taken a long time to grow or get off the ground. You've planted the seed. You're just waiting for them to blossom. It's all about rest, about waiting. You're really ready to move forward. Here you're coming through as a queen of swords, ready to cut through anything, to move forward with this person, to really get the ball rolling with them. You feel like you've been stagnant for quite a long time. If you are dealing with a... What did we just do? I think we're on Aquarius. I think we're on Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius... Wow. Wow. If you were dealing with an Aquarius, they have a lot of love for you. This is a very divinely guided connection. The two of you have a very significant soulmate connection, past life type of energy. They have a lot of emotions for you that they've been concealing, but I do see them coming forward. There's just so much love and abundance between this connection between the two of you. They can't hold themselves back anymore. They want to offer you this cup of love. They want to offer you their emotions. If you are dealing with a Pisces... If you are dealing with a Pisces. All right. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment. They definitely see you in their future. They want to offer you stability. They want to offer a commitment to you. Um, it's just taken them a long time to make this offer. Um, but they definitely see this healing energy with you. I feel like you're someone who brings a lot of light into their life, a lot of healing energy made from past residual things, connection, other connections. You're someone who's very healing to them. They definitely see you as their wish, their dream, right? Their real desire. And I do see that them, them coming through here as the King of Swords. They're, they're kind of done with holding themselves back. It's taken them a long time to get this offer out. But once this offer is completed and they feel like it's stable enough, they're going to come in here as this take charge energy of the King of Swords and really try to... Um, take control of the situation and present this offer to you confidently and, and boldly, courageously and hopefully that you're going to accept because they definitely feel a strong connection with you. Alright, that was all signs. There's timestamps down below if you need to um, share the other signs to get additional messages regarding your situation. I thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.